This is the workout plan I recommend for complete beginners. This is the exact workout plan I used at home. And this is the gym routine I used to get from skinny fat to fit all on Notion. Yo, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to talk about the exact workout that I would recommend and mostly did to transform my, my body. And I use this application called Notion. If you don't know what Notion is, Notion is pretty much an all-in-one productivity app. It's kind of like Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides all on steroids. This video is not sponsored by Notion, but I've been using it for the last like two years to pretty much organize my entire life. And it's a really powerful and simple and kind of clean intuitive tool. And so that's why I even used it to track the progress of my workouts. Let's get started. If you are a complete beginner and have never worked out, I would start here. Um, your workout can be really simple. I feel like you can just use these fundamental exercises. It's the push up, the pull up and squats. Um, your workout is simply three to five sets of max reps till failure. So that's basically doing as many reps as you can until you can't do any and do that for three to five sets with about one minute rest in between. Um, I have these goals that I think that are pretty achievable. Um, that's 50 consecutive push-ups, 15 consecutive pull-ups, and 100 consecutive squats. I think if you can reach those goals, you'll have a great foundation of strength and you'll be ready for the other exercises. If you aren't able to do push-ups, that's okay. You can start from hands on an elevated platform push-ups, like using a table, and then go on to do push-ups on your knees, and then you, eventually you'll be able to do normal push-ups. This is what my Notion template looks like. I have also included this Notion template in the description down below so that you can use it for yourself. Uh, regardless if you are working at home or if you plan to go to the gym, you need a goal. And I talked more about this and how important this is in my previous video and you can check that out in the link below. But pretty much I have goals at the top of the page so that I'm always reminded of the purpose of my fitness journey. And I would say you can strive to have a one rep max or a five rep max or whatever suits your boat. Um, I would recommend having a goal for bench press, pull up, squatting, and shoulder press. Here, um, I know a lot of people also like to do the deadlift. I'm personally not a fan of it, but if that's one of your goals, you should definitely look into it. You can also add other um, exercises if you want to, or avoid some of these exercises based off your body. After I reached my strength goals, I entered the cutting phase in which I tried to lose a certain amount of body fat percentage. So that is where I have my second goal here. Um, in terms of gaining strength, I would say try to complete a strength test every two to three months just so you can see where you are in terms of your current strength. And that's where we have this kind of second table here. With your goals, you need to always know your current level of strength. Um, around every two months, I will do a strength test to see what my one rep max is and fill that in here. That way I know where I am relative to my goals. and. Once you enter the cutting phase, you can then use this calendar below to track uh, your body fat percentage or weight. And so why I like Notion is you can make these toggles where you can just hide things. Underneath this toggle, I have my calendar. Yeah, and what's cool about Notion is that you can have different views for certain databases. So if you click the table view here, you can see it listed out and you can see your progress in a different way. Oh yeah, let me remind you that I'm just an average dude and I'm no professional. And so definitely make sure to do your research. This is simply the workout plan that I used to transform my body. But in terms of form, I don't know how to do the most correct form. And so I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to talk about the exact exercises that I did. Um, I went with the push pull legs workout routine split. And I had a push A and a push B and a pull A and a pull B just to kind of switch up the order of my exercises and the um, ways my sets were. But if we just look at my push workout, pretty much it's hitting chest and triceps. So we started with the bench press and this was my primary main heavy exercise. Um, then we went into the incline bench press, which was hitting the upper chest and then the weighted dip, which was for the lower chest the cable crossover for that nice stretch. And then these two exercises, tricep pull down and the overhead tricep extension 
for my tricep exercises. Um, in terms of sets, I like to kind of do different variations. My primary exercise, I like to do four sets of just five reps since it's my heavy exercise. Um, then I would go to either the 8 to 12 range for the other exercises. And pretty much here, I would just document um, the amount of weight I would do for that workout and so that the next workout I can look and see, oh, this is the weight that I was able to do. My first exercise, since it's my main exercise, I would have the most rest, but as you see, as we continue, the rest time gets lower and lower. I'm personally a fan of more rest. And then here, in case I had any notes, I would just write them down. Like for example, if I wasn't able to complete it, but I still was able to do two sets, I would write that down. Anything that I just wanted to note. And then and if we go to my pull day, that's my back and biceps day. Primary exercise was the weighted pull up. After my weighted pull up, I would do chest supported dumbbell row and then the seated cable row and then the lat pull down, the bicep curl and the face pull. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention that I coupled my shoulders with my legs just because it's kind of hard to do shoulders, chest and triceps all in one workout and so um, for my shoulders slash legs day, I would do the shoulder press. Um, I would actually use the machine because that was more comfortable for my shoulders, but you could use with the barbell. And then I would do either side raises or forward raises for my shoulders. Then for my legs, I would do the squat, then the split squat, the leg curl, and then calf raises with the leg press machine. And then when we look at my push B workout, it's only slightly different. Um, so I would still start with a bench press, but instead I would do three by eight. Um, but what I would do is I would do a little less weight, but do more reps just to get a different kind of feel for a different amount of weight and a different amount of sets. I think I would increase my weight by five pounds like around every two weeks and then instead i would do the weighted dip next then i would do the inclined bench press machine chest fly the tricep side pull and then the tricep dumbbell kickback in terms of my pull b workout it's pretty similar there was the chest supported machine row i really like this machine i don't know why like i just could really feel it for my back and so um i would do that as my primary exercise and then I would go to the chest supported dumbbell row and then do pull ups with just body weight, but do more pull ups. And then I would do single arm dumbbell row and then chin ups and then a hammer slash cross curl. My next shoulder legs be workout is the first two are pretty much the same. I would just do if I didn't do forward raises, I would do side raises. Oh, and here I would also note, like sometimes I would use cables just for sake of variety, or I would use the dumbbells. Um, and then for my leg workout, I would do the squat, then I would do the leg press, leg extension, and then calf raises again. That's pretty much um, my main workout plan. I did also have this additional exercises just because like every two to three weeks I wanted to switch things up. There's so many like really great exercises and sometimes if you do different exercises, it'll push, it'll utilize your muscles in kind of different ways and activate them in different ways that will ultimately help you gain strength. This was my abs routine. So it was really simple. It was just hanging leg raises, the crunch, and I made it weighted with a barbell, just like crunching like this basically, and then a Russian twist that was weighted. And so this routine was really nice because it's really simple. It's just three exercises, but you have um, your hanging leg raises, which hits your lower abs, your crunch, which kind of hits your upper abs, and then your Russian twist, which hits your obliques. And so you have kind of um, a really good all around abs routine. That was my gym workout routine. If you aren't able to go to the gym or you wanna start off at home, here is what I mostly did at home when I first started and this is what I would recommend. So I have again, a push, pull and shoulders slash legs. And so for my push workout, this was my at home uh, workout routine, I would go with the weighted push up similar to the bench press as my primary main heavy exercise. And then I would put this into a backpack and then do it, um, do a four by 10 and same, a lot of rest. 
and then I would go with incline weighted push-up and so um, then I would do the push-up but with my legs inclined on some kind of platform and then again I would put some kind of weight into my backpack and then do a 3 by 12 then I would do a weighted dip I know not everyone has like a dip bar but I was fortunate to have one and so I did dips as my um, lower chest exercise and then the diamond push-up that helps with like the mid chest but also your triceps and so I would do that body weight and then eventually increase weight with that and then for my triceps um, I did a tricep kickback with um, these adjustable very cheap dumbbells that I had and then my pull workout it consisted of the weighted pull up it's a lot harder to do pull exercises at home and so that's why I have um, increased the number of sets mostly and so then I would do standing dumbbell row the single arm dumbbell row chin up bicep curl as my main bicep exercise all you need are like you know those cheap adjustable dumbbells and a pull up bar and you'll be good and then my shoulders and legs workout. I went with the shoulder press with the dumbbells. Then I went with the side and forward raises. I would also do some rear raises. And then this was my legs routine. So I would do backpack weighted Bulgarian split squats. Then I would do a backpack lunge. And then I would do a Cossack squat. If you don't know what a Cossack squat is, there is a link at the bottom that will kind of show you how to do that with good form. In terms of doing at-home exercises with your legs, you kind of have to increase the reps by a good amount just because it's pretty hard to, to push your legs with um, light weights. And so that was my home workout. I try to be like minimal, but also be able to hit each different part of your body. In terms of cardio, when I was in my cutting phase, this was my cardio routine. One day I did running, then I would switch it up with like hit or jump rope, running and running. And then Saturday I would do steady state. You know, it might've been running, it might've been jump rope. And then Sunday I would do basketball. And that is pretty much it. And now I am done with my fitness kind of journey. Thank you so much, homies really show love and stay tuned for see ya